Organizations around Jackson are doing what they can to help by hosting water giveaways. 12 News' Marie Minifield spoke with residents who are desperately looking for supplies. Local organizations are hosting various water and supplies giveaway around the city. People line the streets leading to Kate Chapel Church for a chance to get water and toiletries. Volunteers say it's important to bring resources directly to those affected. We got all kinds of just basic necessities that a lot of us have taken for granted until this water crisis. You know, I lived through the flood in 1979, believe it or not, and, and we're going to get through this, but people need some help and, and they're hurting and we need help. One nursing home assistant manager we spoke with says his residents woke up to no running water, but thanks to a generous donation delivery, it will help ease the stress for a lot of senior residents, as many of them do not have vehicles to get to the store or supply giveaways. Because it is a crisis, and, and these seniors are feeling it because it's really tough to end up to, you know, for them to get water for toilets and drinking water. But one good thing about seniors, they usually keep bottled water. They're going to keep bottled water because they usually don't drink the city water but anyway they are uh, but they gonna keep that bar water but water for commodes and things like that is vitally important and I just thank them so much I can't say enough about it and the seniors here thank them Jackson is no stranger to water problems residents say it's time for city and state leaders to fix it once and for all well to me it's it's, it's kind of chaotic but it is what it is you know life is you know you just have to take it with a grain of salt and just Stay prayerful. Like I said, we have to stay prayerful and hope everything with, you know, uh, the governor, the mayor, everybody work out okay with, with the issues that's going on. And I hope everybody can get the water back on and start back. With no clear timeline of when the water crisis will come to an end, Jackson residents say they will not abandon the city they call home. Marie Minifield, 12 News.